856, 857, 858, 859, 860, 860, what? Hey! Let me know when you're going to do that, will you? Excuse me, I, I just wanted to get something out of the dryer. Well, don't take the sheep. I'm counting it. <laughs> Can't sleep, eh? Not a wink. Feel like chatting? What is it, Al? I'm really depressed about Brian's birthday. Why? The two-headed nurse is going to be on the cake. <laughs> it reminds me of how I'll never have another birthday with my friends. Oh. Alf, you did have a lot of birthdays with your friends. You had 228. Yeah, but that last one was a real bummer. Now, how come? Well, for one thing, the planet exploded. <laughs> but it wasn't just that. I was finally going to get together with my true love, Rhonda. You know, I really should turn this off before that sheep gets scorched. You don't want to hear this, do you? Sure I do. Tell me about Rhoda. Rhoda? Well... I thought she was funny when she was on Mary's show, but when she got her own series, they married her off too soon. Weren't we talking about your girlfriend? Oh, Rhonda. Yeah. What a knockout. Our very first date was going to be on my birthday. The night your planet blew up. That's right. I was brushed and curried and ready for love. <laughs> then word came. Orbit guards, man your battle stations. The rest is history. Sayonara Melmac and Sayonara Rhonda. I'm sorry, Alf. Thanks. Well, good night, Willie. Reminds me a little of me and Marcia Shankin. I said good night. <laughs> All right. Tell me about you and the Martian. Not the Martian. Marcia. Marcia Schenken. It was someone I knew before I met your mother. Kate. I had a really serious crush on Marcia Schenken. By the time I got the nerve up to ask her out, she moved to Toledo. Uncanny. My planet blew up, and some girl you knew moved to Ohio. Good night, Al. Good night, Willie. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, 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 Stella! <laughs> so, uh, happy birthday, Gordo. Thanks, Skipper. Hey, hey, Gordon, you got a date later? Maybe, maybe not. He's, He's got, got a, a day. <laughs> All right, who gets the chili cat? Hey, over here, cutie. Feline and fries, no gravy. Right here. Whisker omelet, tail on the side. Yo. Happy birthday, big boy. Thanks. I think she likes you, big boy. <laughs> She's got legs like a, like a Lunar Lander. She's no Rhonda. What about Rhonda? Come on, who are you kidding? That's who you got a date with. All right, I've got a date with Rhonda. Why are you making such a big deal out of this? Alf, uh, wake up, <laughs> wake up. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. What's the matter? Oh, you, you, were, you were talking in your sleep. You, you were shouting, you were singing. What was I singing? I don't know, it was something about the Beach Boys. Little Deuce Coop? No, it was that one with Rhonda in the title. Rhonda. Are you okay? I don't think so, Willie. What's wrong? Everything. I want to go home. Just fluff them up, just a bit. Oh, how's the temp, Lynn? 425 degrees, Alf. Normal. Normal's being on your own planet, not here. Alf, I know you miss your friends and family, but we are your family now, and 
and we'd do anything for you. Wouldn't we, Mom? I think we are. Any chance of reheating this soup? My pleasure. Oh, and you might want to run a dustbuster over this couch. I seem to be shedding. Oh, I'm not going all the way out to the garage to get the dustbuster. Be realistic, Kate. It's not going to come to you. Alf, I'm going to tell you something now, and I want you to listen to me very carefully. Let me get the dustbuster. <laughs> now, I realize that you miss Rhonda and that you're homesick. And people that are sick are not themselves. <laughs> they say things they don't mean. They act in ways they wouldn't <coughs> ordinarily act. But if you ever talk to me like that again, I'll punch your heart out. Fair enough. 